this works for tools and I'm Eric today we're showing a new product you may have seen it but it's called the bolster organizer this is pretty awesome when I first found out about it me and a couple guys at the shop got one right away so we're just gonna put it through the test and see what it can do it's meant to put bolts in obviously to keep you organized and it's made out of like a silicone rubber so it withstands heat and stretching and you can fold it so that's pretty cool we've got an older one right here that we've been using obviously you can see but it's meant to be able to organize the bolts so that different sizes and different lengths we use it for automotive repair and you can keep the different sizes in the right places if it goes around smaller ones like this I've seen other people put it underneath like that instead but it will go here and it goes from pretty big sizes different sizes and just squeeze them in there and then it keeps it in line for if you're on a front cover or whatnot and you can pick it up if you get them in there good you can pick it up and move it the small ones obviously won't stay but if you get ones like this size it'll actually stay so it holds up pretty good um, the point of that is you can put them in magnet trays you know we usually use magnet trays to put our stuff and it works it's worked for years but you can't really put them in an order because they don't want to stay so the bolster works real good for that and then you can also put things in order on your cart and then when somebody bumps it all your stuff moves around and then it's not and this isn't gonna move around if it's in there all the way <laughs> right right <laughs> so that's pretty cool um, I'll show a picture of a cart with them on there and it works pretty good but this works better so now we're gonna do some torture tests we know that it can withstand some heat so we're gonna put a torch to it and we'll see maybe we'll see what it takes to melt it but we're obviously not going to uh, be putting torches to it usually but we'll see it's only uh yeah so it's already 180 270 so now it's starting to change color at like 400 420 now we're gonna melt it but we're obviously not gonna be having our torch on it so it can hold but stand the heat to be able to put it on stuff that's hot on your car and it's not gonna fall apart let's see how hot it still is still 200 degrees pretty cool definitely can stand some heat these things work pretty good we're going to show some pictures also. Um, we bought these, but they also did give me a code. If you want to get one at bolster.com or on Amazon or eBay, you can use Works for Tools 10 and get 10% off if you want to buy one. So that's pretty cool. And I'll leave some pics too at the end of this video that shows how the um, some other pictures of it being used in actual applications. I don't have any cars I'm working on right now, but we'll show some that show that the different, uh, like a um, water pump job and front cover jobs and stuff like that. So we just heated it and it is a little sticky, like over here's not, but I'm wondering if we can clean that off, some brake clean because we didn't get to the point of actually melting it. And we got it almost 500 degrees. I use brake clean to clean everything, so. <laughs> and there's a little mark still, but it didn't. we didn't actually get it hot enough to melt it. 
But when you put a flame to something, you're gonna have, it's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> but it's not sticky anymore, so you pretty much cleaned off the burn. And let's see if it still works. And it still works even though it got that hot. Obviously, we're not gonna put a torch to it, but it just means that it can be put on something hot for a minute. It's not gonna get melted if you drop it down in the car and it hits the exhaust. You'll be able to save it. And uh, we know that it holds up to the bolts because I'm also gonna show a picture after this part of one that I left the bolts in it for two weeks. This one's the one I left for two weeks. It was a transmission job on a Toyota pickup. We had to wait a couple weeks for the new one to come in so I organized all these. There's the flywheel bolts in the middle and other various bolts for this job. And when we pulled the bolts out of the bolster, it did not stay deformed or anything. It came right back to its shape. That was really cool. Another thing we used to do to hold our bolts and things, especially working when you have uh, push rods out, is putting them into a box. You can make a hole. Put your bolts in there. That works real good too. But now you have this big box to deal with instead of a little place to put it. I really dig this thing. I use it every chance I get. Especially when you got different lengths and different sizes. That's what it was made for. Made for. And it's one of those things where you wonder, why didn't I think of that? Chemical resistant, heat resistant, easy to clean, and you can mark it. Clean it off. And reuse it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and follow on Instagram. See you on the next one.